my friends, welcome back to Will and James Watch Love Island! Yeah! yeah! This video is sponsored by Pouch. Woo! James's birthday yesterday. Happy 30th, brother. Mm, yeah, 25, please. I met someone the other day and they said, How old are you? And I went, I'm 25 tomorrow. And they went, <gasps> Really? And I was like, they're not saying that because they think I look younger than 25. <laughs> okay, so quick recap. Davide and Ekinsu are now mortal enemies. Gemma and Luca are happily married. Dan Burton has landed in Mallorca and is ready to get busy. They've also, uh, they've whacked a singer in there called Antigone, a name that means a woman who is unbending. Let's see if she can live up to that with our big Italian hunk around. Well, she can't see me through the, through the screen, Will. So <laughs> sure she'll be fine. Yeah, good. Uh, you weren't impressed with her tunes though, no? I mean, they were distinctly mid. However, I tell you who was a big fan of her, Jay. He was loving it, and we're about to find out how that goes down with his other half, Ekin Sue. Honey, my bite a little bit. Like he looks like a Peaky Blinders character. <laughs> Should be the cap and everything. But I feel generally like me and Jay do get along. Yeah. Hey, honey. And okay. right. If he says to me that this date went really well with this Antonika. Oh, come on, Ekin. Let's not play games like that. She's a nice lady who models for Tobe Jizzle. That's disrespect. But then again, she does have the most difficult name in the world. I mean, I'm trying to get to know Danika. You need to be careful with the way you say that, Davide. Yeah. <laughs> You're here to disrupt, mate. Give you the green light. Well, do what you boys, do. I'll say now, I'm I'm probably going to like, I'm gonna get to know everyone. We're, we're, we're used to, we're used exactly to the same people. Well, that's the shock of the century. Everyone says that. You can definitely tell they don't find him a threat by the way they're going, you know, give you the green light. You've got to step around everyone's toes. Like when Davide came in, everyone was like, shh. Shit. Oh, actually, my friend, speaking of Davide, one thing we've not shut up about this entire series is Davide's muscles. But, right, what if I told you, you could get muscles just like that and pick up some sweet discounts while you're at it with Pouch. Now, Pouch is a totally free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best discount codes for you. Now, right, so how did Mr. Davide get his lovely, lovely physique? Protein, presumably. Well, with Pouch, he could have saved 40% of his money. Because when I was shopping on my protein, I got to the checkout, Pouch automatically popped up, found us seven codes and applied them, and I saved 16 quid. <laughs> Very good. Now, in the event there are no live codes that are available whilst you're shopping, you can still earn points from participating retailers that can then be redeemed as gift cards. Now, Pouch works on over 3,000 UK sites and ones people actually use like Domino's, Amazon, eBay and Game. It takes literally a couple of clicks to install and pin to your browser. It doesn't get in the way and it's free forever if you click the link in my description right now. Back to the video. Yeah, we would steal your girl too. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly, mate. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Do you reckon he wears a shuffle on weekends? What's a shuffle? Oh, give over. You know what a shuffle is and I don't. What is it? A shuffle, it's like one of those things posh people wear. Really? Google shuffle. S-C-H-U, uh, it says ev every, Every day, I've heard that people are shuffling. <laughs> what are you going to do you like, Charlie? Good lad? I don't know him, yeah. yeah. Seems like a nice person. Is he trying to pop him Ekin Sue off to Charlie? That would be absolute scenes. Is this a man playing with fire? I want to be honest with my feelings. Ooh. And I feel like because I moved so fast with you, mm -hmm. I didn't Ooh. get the chance to explore uh, maybe getting to know Paige. Mm -hmm. There's something that I felt like for a while, but I didn't. Paige? I thought we were talking about Antigone. Wait, what? I just read a book. You want to get another page? Yeah, we got it, James. We got it. Cool. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're honest with me. <gasps> I don't want to be in the way. If you want to get to know Paige, mm -hmm. get to know her. I can't see Ekin Sue just sitting around quietly whilst a man chats to another woman. What do you think Jax is going to think? I'm going to tell him tonight. This is, I have to be respectful, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll speak to Jax tonight, and then I'll tell Paige. Okay. Oh wow, they had like energy towards each other on the first night, do you remember? Where it's like, I'll fight in flat and you mate. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You're fucked, lad. You're fucked. It must be quite intimidating for Jay because it sounds like there's multiple of him. There's multiple Jays. No, of the person he's talking to. 
There's, it sounds like there's going to be multiple of him, and that that'd be quite scary. What do you mean? There's multiple of the people he's talking to. He's speaking to Jax. <laughs> No, you're right. Calm. You're right. You seem a bit hot, man. You're good. Interesting choice of words there. You seem sexy. I mean, sexy. I mean, I'm doing a you. What's a me? Hold on. What's this? You're sorting yourself out on camera. All right. I sort myself out on and off camera, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. That just sounds like I'm wanking, wanking on camera. On camera. Right now. Nobody's wanking right now. Well, someone might be. How far away do you think the closest person wanking to you right now is? About an arm's length. Right. Good. That conversation with Ekin couldn't have gone any better. You fool! You are kidding yourself, Jay. You moron! Listen, bro, I don't want anything to get between us, right? No, no, you're sweet. And I'm telling you because man to man, like, I want you respect. Fair enough. I want to get to know Paige. Yes, yeah, sweet, crack on. Uh, on a better level, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Literally, no, you, you yeah. do what you want. It's not going to come between me and you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Because you have to do what you have to do in there, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, I like, don't feel awkward about it. Jax is not asked about Paige. He couldn't give a fuck. Good thing to say anyway. You'd feel like some people, even if they didn't care about their partner, would be like, what the fuck? He's just waiting for a couple bombshells on Tuesday, isn't he? He's just waiting for people to be yeah, dropped in. As well, like... Yeah. Where are the other ones? Not feeling at all, I huh? Just Where are the other ones? You know? What are the ones? The other Jax. Oh, for fucking twice, not twice! <laughs> <laughs> we need a test anyway. It's either going to make us worse or better us. And, mate, I'm a big believer in things happen for a reason, so in the next few days, we'll see how things unfold. Quite a nice mentality. Yeah, what the hell? If he holds that line for the whole time, very impressive. Perfect mentality until another girl comes in. No, Jay just pulled me for a chat then. Said he's going to get to know you. I was like, yeah, sweet. Go on. Mm, I mean... Like, any lad could come in here, right, and say I'm going to get to know Paige. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead, mate. Mm. Why is she speaking like that into the microphone? Oh, yeah. It must just be so awkward though, isn't it? She's like, uh, uh, you know, any, uh, uh. I'm gonna do the rest of this video like that. No, please don't. <laughs> oh, oh, the walk is back! Sorry. Here comes the dragon! Can I talk to you for just a second? Yeah. Oh! That conversation with Ekin couldn't have gone any better. First of all, I'll take everything back I've said here. I was calm, collected. Yeah. Right, okay. okay, it's just hit me now what you've done. Ah! You knew at the coupling to stay safe that I would pick you. You could have got to know Paige from day dot, yeah? And now you're wanting to get Paige. Funny that, isn't it? Kinda true. Okay, I didn't I didn't even take Paige on a date for obvious reasons. What do you mean obvious reasons? What about me then? Why'd you get to know me then? Well, I was getting to know you and, and the now more, all the, of a sudden Paige. Well the more I've got to know you, I've just realised actually maybe we're not personality compatible. Oh! It's getting hot in the villa. I coupled up with you. Davido could have gone home, but I picked you. That's your and choice, And now, all of a sudden, now you want to get to know Paige. She's in a secure relationship. Do you know how fucking muggy that makes you look? Mug. You should write that on your fucking forehead. Oh, my God. Apparently, I was a player here, but the biggest player in this villa is you, Jay. And you deserve wow. the biggest Oscar in here. So well done. She's just gave him the Davide treatment. You are a liar. You are an actress, Jay. I mean, you did the same to him. I don't care. No woman deserves this. He should have told me from the start. He wanted to stay safe, so he coupled up with me. Oh. You see, know, he, he coupled up with you, and he found out what you are in two days, mate. A fucking no, headache. No. Ah! Oh. Lad, you did not need to get involved, but I respect this. He's getting to know people. Why can't people get yeah, to know each other? Wrong. Jax is really into Jay getting to know Paige. He's really dying on this that he should be allowed. Please, Paige, suck his dick. I'll still kiss you. I'll kiss you. <laughs> oh, it's warm, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> no, I'm all good. No. What's going on? Must be pretty novel for her. James, fuck off. Okay, sorry, sorry. He's like, yeah, go and have your conversation with Jay or whatever. I'm just like... God, it is getting a bit sentence. Well, are you pushing it that hard? Because, like, you're not, like, feeling the same way or, like, you're hoping that somebody else is coming in. That Jay guy is such a punk. James, stop! All I was looking for from Jack was, like, a little bit of, um like, reassurance sort of thing. Like, Yeah, it's like she's been fought for, but no one really kind of... Wants her. At the end of the day, at least we know that Mark's coming into the villa soon and she's going to get on with him, so. Book Mark. No, exclamation mark. Oh, what's up? Oh, it was just really warm. I haven't just had to take my makeup off. No, I'm good, honestly. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe not because you've been going. I'm all good. You know me for you, don't you? Yeah, for the next week, Paige, I'm all yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the nice one. The nice what? The nice Jack. The right.
Charlie, it's time for you to pick two girls for some one-on-one -on -one time in the Hideaway Terrace hot tub. I'm going to pick Ekansu. Oh! What? He's a free agent, though, isn't it? He spotted the opportunity. Go in there like a raging bull, mate. A raging bull. Relationship-wise, I'd say I'm... Once I'm in a relationship, I'm, like, fully in and committed. God, he's boring, isn't he? Yeah, and that just sounded like the biggest lie ever. Uh, when I'm in a relationship, so essentially, I am in a relationship when I'm in one. No, just as in we can talk, it's good. So you like, friend zone me, basically. Do you want me to friend zone you? Well, it's up to you, isn't it? This is so dry. You're in a fucking hot tub and it's dry. I've got bars. Call me, um, call me Soho. What, because you've got bars? Because I've got bars. Call me a prison. Because you've got bars. Because I've got bars. Call me a sheep. <laughs> 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 Wonder where they found him. He doesn't really seem like the Love Island type. Yeah, he looks lost in there, doesn't he? I'm actually just here to do a survey for the building and find out how much it's worth. Ooh. Okay, it's warm in here. Yeah, it's very warm. Browser. Why well, it's called a hot tub, guys. <laughs> Are you like opposed to getting to know me then? Like off the back of our conversation last night? Have I read it wrong? I mean, they're much better of a fit than Tash and Andrew because their boring levels match a bit better. Want to go on a date with someone that like, I have a genuine interest in rather than just like going on a date with someone for the sake of it. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. I hope his time is limited because he's giving us nothing. Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. It was a nice date. Not was it better lie. than you expected? You went better than expected, yeah. Right, okay. Like, oh no, what's Tasha gonna do? Who's Tasha? <laughs> Islanders, tonight they'll yes! be Yes! I've been kind of like gooey Tasha. <laughs> gooey I'm, Tasha? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because obviously, yeah, and then when I like someone, I just turn very gooey. Turn very gooey? I get wet. <laughs> it's just discharge. <laughs> That's gross. Very good. I really enjoy I bloody couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Me too. There's a recoupling in five minutes, and suddenly, oh, the big boring blonde man. Oh, I had, I had, we couldn't stop laughing. She didn't laugh once. Yeah. Save your skin though, Ekin, we need you. It's Jay's turn to choose. He's currently in a couple with Ekin Sue, but recently said he wanted to get to know Paige. I've decided to couple up with this girl because I think she's beautiful. I don't want that empty feet. Paige. Don't Paige, right. Now, have they talked to each other once? Uh, yeah, actually, have we seen that? I don't think we have. The girl I want to couple up with is... Ekansu. Well, the damage has been done. I've decided to couple up with this girl because she's dropped dead gorgeous. Even though we've had a few challenges, we're gonna have we're gonna have more. It's just gonna get worse. And hopefully, it can go the distance. Oh. But you don't... So the girl I'd like to couple up with it. is Sasha. Tasha. Oh, it's a bit rough in there. You can hear a pin drop. Four, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Andrew said to Luca right before the recoupling, my Love Island experience starts tomorrow. <gasps> so why the fuck is Andrew saying that? Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, everybody. We did have that bit in our compilation, but I got bored. We got bored. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. There's the context. Listen, there's a reason you keep wanting to get to know every bombshell that walks through the door. There obviously is something missing with you and Andrew for you to feel like this. Again, he's always involved, but he's got a good point. I've heard from Jam that apparently you made a comment saying that your Love Island experience starts tomorrow. No, I said if if uh, he was to pick you tonight, I said the Love Island experience would start tomorrow because that would obviously be our first major, major challenge where you're in potentially in bed with someone else. Oh my God, I hate it when he's lying. It's so obvious. It's honestly talking They might as well just come over because we're obviously talking about us, so. Uh, Luca and Dami, do you, mind, do you like to come over here? Is that right? Luca and Dami. Luca and Dami, please. Do you want me to leave you guys nah, to your chat or do you want me? Do you want me to leave? No, brother, your, it's your relationship. Should I go? You fucking fanny. But we haven't twisted one word you've said. We've just sent it by your actions. I never said once that I genuinely do want to get to know a child on a romantic level. I said I'll have just more general chit chat with him. There's gonna cut to a sex shot now. <laughs> Aye, that's all the sex shot, Andy. Look at that man's ass. Fucking. <laughs> Davide hums in his sleep. 
<laughs> was he morning in his sleep? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you are a lion. An actress. <laughs> yeah, but I just feel like stuff. people just don't have my back in here. Like. Oh, fuck. Shut up, man. No, I want you to be open to people that come in. You want me to be open to people that come in. Mm -hmm. And now I'm a bit like, do you really genuinely mean that? This is what we're in here to do. If you want to get to know other people, go get to know other people. But obviously for me right now, no one's really come in that I've been like wanting to get to know. So what he's saying is I would have done the same. It's just there's no opportunity for us to do it. Jay's first night with Paige was like something out of Romeo and something? Juliet. Oh my God, they're gonna have a chat for the first time. Oh my God, yeah, they're actually going to speak to one another. I'm such a simple guy. For me, three things in life, like right now, that's kept me so happy during being single. Mm. Eating well, Eating well, training, mm. and sleeping. Oh, fucking kill me. Get a life. Get a life. That's pretty much how you talk after getting your personal trainer. Yeah, look. Look at me. I have a personal trainer. It makes me better mentally. Do I look like I have a personal trainer? No. Oh. You want to know how many Toblerone cheesecakes I've eaten in the last 48 hours? <laughs> Damn, is a bit like the England cricket team. Easily bowled over by India. I mean, probably. I'm Scottish. I don't really know anything about cricket. Your distaste for Ian is palpable. Ian, it's been rough for you this year, man. Get some new writers in. <laughs> Dami and India, it's time for you to go on your first day. Oh. Well, at night time? People have, like, come and gone through mm. Villa, but you've both been here the whole time. I feel like this week started really strongly, and now... Just dull. Do you ever feel so bored you want to rip your own eyes out? Not really, no. Ek and Sue's about to talk to someone. Let me give you a clue. This little guy is cheeky all of the David day and all of the David night. He nabbed it! He did nab it! Oh, you, you bastard! You bastard Ian Sterling! Mate, we know you're watching. Hey, Ian, try stealing my whole fucking vibe. Is it true? Yeah, your first oh my god. Day, okay. Is this the OTP getting back together? Oh my god, I'd love it. Apart from that, sometimes I, I laugh with you, I uh, like to take the piece of you. But... Yeah, I'm not coming to you to. <laughs> yeah, I know. To. Um... To. Um, to. This is just a friendship talk. Did you see that comment saying that we do look alike? Comment time. Um, let us know. I think James looks like Davide, or I don't think James looks like Davide. I, can, can we actually count up the answers? Because I win, I win this. So are you waiting for someone else to come in? If obviously things don't work out with Charlie, I am open for someone yeah, to come. To come or... I'm always open for someone to come. Yeah. Please. We're talking as friends, but there's something... I don't know what it is. There's always really special something with Davide that I can't have with anyone else in here. And whether you call that love or friendship... Love?! Oh my god, yes. The L word. That's what this is, Ekin. If you call it love! Where's your head at? Do you feel like it could be... Oh, why are we back to these? Why are they still on a date? <sighs> All the power to you, lads. I hope you make it out together and have a long and healthy relationship. Now get off my screen. Oh, tomorrow's like, mate, bothering me now. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he bothering me now? He wasn't bothering me last night when you were in bed with him. They're talking to him, they didn't. I didn't, I didn't get it. And tonight he was making me fucking angry. He was literally making me angry and I didn't like it. Well, it's just quite sweet. Maybe they're legitimate. Well done, Jax. You've actually expressed it in a good way, I think. It's so funny, she just got back into bed and wanked Jay off. Pump that shit, man. Use Jax's tears. <laughs> One thing I can do is pe read people's minds, sorry. Man, you cannot read anybody's <laughs> mind. So I read your mind, Ekin. Go on. Okay. You're thinking you're unsure of what you're going to do, if you really like Charlie or not. You might, you're thinking maybe you end up back in bed with David, eh? Damn it, you're getting a bit bold here. Did you fuck up when you had a chance with the guy? Mm. Charlie's right there, Dammy. Dammy, go and read Gemma's mind. Hmm. You like Luca, but you're finding it tough to open up, open up properly. Dammy! Like, it will, I feel like it would take a lot for your head to turn mm -hmm. but there is a small chance that it probably could if if something Tommy came with truth bombs right now fucking hell my god you read oh, a mind done like yeah. a book yeah i was good man. yeah that was quite that impressive was pretty oh! Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, listen, I, I don't... Listen, we've read here, please just leave it here, because yeah. I don't want any... Yeah, don't... no, I don't think you're that far wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I just had a fucking flash forward to? That bit of the show where they show clips throughout the show <gasps> to make people angry. And Dummy's his mate as well. Luca's going to lose his head. We were just talking by the beds. Oh, my God. You couldn't... Have, you, you lasted two minutes, Ekin. Then Danny was doing this, this crazy, like, mind-reading thing. Ekin! He asked you to keep... Keep it there! When he said to Gemma and said, um, 
I think you're obviously you're, you like Luca, but I think Luca's more interested in you. And if a guy walked into this villa, that was your type. No, Ekin, you cut that slide. It's not a bad thing, though. It's not a bad thing. I was a bit surprised that she admitted it. <sighs> That's shocking. Like, yeah, it's true. Whoever cast her must be, like, the most popular member of the ITV2 officers. I hear you had a bit of an interesting combo. Who? You and Danny and his predictions. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it, no. What did she say? It was if another guy came in that was your type, your head would turn. <laughs> what? That's not... Wait, was that not what... Yeah, but not like that. No. There was like a lot of predictions and she said you weren't too far wrong. She didn't say specifically I agree with that one. Luca versus Gemma versus Ekin Sue. Yes. Hello. Talk to me. Hmm? What's going on? Please. I need to speak to someone else first because I'm going to lose my head. So you're just talking to everyone else but me? Oh, OK. What's kicking off? Jem. Oh, yeah, she's come over and said what she's da uh, damaged said. And Jem's agreed to something and said, yeah, I mean, it could be turned or what? What? What's been, what's been said? Oh, you no. Not, were you not there? No, because Jax has a piece of the information from Ekin, but not Gemma saying that it's not true. Dammy said to Jem, I reckon if a lad comes in, your head could still be turned. And Jem's gone, yeah, I would be. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's not coming the right way. Yes. <laughs> that look to each other. Feels like he's been done up like a kid. God, he looks good. All right, what's this shit? Because you said that you cut whenever I say something about him. <laughs> and then you come through with this energy, man. What's this? I never said your head was going to get turned. I just well, said, if a new guy walked in and he was the type you're open to, you know. Well, no, but it, so it sounds like you've literally... No. Come from one to the other. Chill. Chill? And exactly. if your relationship ship's perfect, then I you can start what I, you giving know. me advice. But until then, keep your fucking nose out of it. Yes, Gemma Owen. You've spoken about what Dami said about me, which has actually got fuck all to do with you, hung on to one little bit that you knew that was going to cause the most drama and run with it. Is this Ekin Sue taking her first L? Dami read how he felt, and this was Dami's quotes and words. It wasn't me. It was you. I've done nothing wrong. Again, but it's so easy to blame me in here, isn't it? You silly toss. If someone came in that you got on better with, that you found more attractive than me, that you had more chemistry with than me, that is better than me, you would still stick with me even though they're better. It's bullshit. Well, I can't see it happening. Oh, I can't see it happening. Yeah, she's come out of this really well. Yeah, she smashed it. Ekin. Oh, uh, Luca. Come here. Now you just bring in a fucking wild card, a fucking danger catalyst. Let's see how this goes. She just kisses Luca. Fuck! <laughs> Dammy read her mind. It wasn't me reading Gemma's mind. Stop making out he's a clairvoyant. It was just a stupid conversation. Why are you bothered? Like, I don't understand. I'm bothered by you, you just keep you running your mouth like a water tap. Like, oh, it was good. Well, like a water tap. Cancer and more, they're just going to bring in five guys that are exactly Gemma's type. My head wouldn't turn, and that's how I feel. So obviously, I do feel a bit more into you than you do me. Well, if you're saying absolutely not, my head, my head would 100% not turn, then possibly. I want us to be on the same page, and I do want, I, I, I want a future with you. I'm obsessed with you, I ain't gonna lie. Oh my God, if they have Cassa and Moore right as this has just happened between Gemma and Luca. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you sound really interested. Mid-yawn. Oh yeah. I never felt like this about any other guy and- Yeah. Oh, it's just bullshit, who cares? Don't play the fucking piano music. Get them, fuck, take those cat, t fuck. Yeah, you take, take, take. <laughs> Me and Andrew are just, you know, like this. Oh! This, this is me and Andrew. I think she means it. I believe her. And this is me, right? This is me. Challenge time now. It's boys versus girls. And this one, the Islanders are wearing heart rate monitors to see who <gasps> sets pulses racing more. Yes! The heart rate monitor! Okay, lads. Now, uh, after our unfortunate double age restricting of the last episode, I'm afraid I cannot show the dancing here. However, here's the context. So, Danica, she came out first. Listen, if I didn't believe in God before tonight, I do now. That is right. Oh, wow. Then Ekin. This is softcore porn, bruv. Then Gemma. If he does not raise her heart rate the most, this villa could explode. Spoiler alert, uh, he didn't. Gemma raised Jax's heart rate the most, and hers was raised the most by Jax too. <laughs> oh, it's gonna, it's gonna explode! Um, 
I think I've reassured him enough by now that like me and Jax is just a no. And then also on top of that, Andrew's heart rate was raised the most by Danica and uh, Tasha didn't take that well. I was sat there like I wanted to hear my name. Mm. For you. I know it's not nice, but let's not cry. So maybe I'm thinking, oh, maybe you are a bit, you know, attracted to her, obviously. And maybe hey. do you fancy her a little bit. No. I just hey. feel stupid, because I literally trust her. <laughs> I'm like, no! So are you ready to marry me? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, what? The heart monitor. Is there some truth in that? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe f some factor, as I said, probably. I was not expecting a kiss from you. Mm -hmm. You kissed me, you surprised me, and because of the surprise, my heart rate went up. The composure is amazing. He's just unbothered. He just does not give her an inch. The perfect match for Ekin. Ekin constantly has to fucking <laughs> go for him. Well, you wish me back. No. Come on, be honest. I don't want you back. Be honest. No. Be honest. No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I like this. He goes, you want me back? And she's like, no. And he's like, you are a liar. <laughs> An actress. I think I've learned stuff in here. I'm not saying I want you back. I'm not saying I'm in love with you. I'm not saying I have feelings for you. I'm just saying I think I've noticed things in here. And I just wanted to tell you. I love these chats they have. I love them. You know, I get why she's annoyed, but at the end of the day, it's just a little game. I want you to talk about my performance, please. How was it? I'm not going to talk about your performance. Oh my God. Obviously, it's that good enough to make my heart race. So. Good. I'm glad. But, babe, I was obsessed. I was literally obsessed with yours. It just gives you the ache a bit, doesn't it? Babe, I was obsessed with your one. You looked amazing, babe. I don't think you realise how much I like you. I like you to the moon and back. He's so wet. But well, you're actually bothered about me and Jem. It's not exactly great, is it? Like, it, it generally could have been like any other girl. And it was Jam, and I was like, oh, geez. Did you not see what Jem did to me and I did to Jem? We kept it like a kiss on the cheek. And it still got me hard. Yeah. It's the one you don't want your heart rate to go up for. You'll be more stressed. Surely it's more likely to go up. OK, so I'm going to be honest now, so I'm going to be truthful. Maybe because we've experienced something like that before. And it was just mm -hmm. like it, it brought off a flashback. You know, and obviously it would do, you know, if you would mm -hmm. slept with someone. Don't say you were thinking of ragging her. We're not over it, still got a thing there. You know, we're going to have that chemistry still lingering, still there. Oh! 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 All right, goodbye! Also, my friends, don't forget you can install Pouch for free using the link in my description.